everybody. My name is Tara from Just Call Me Homegirl. And I mentioned on my page yesterday that um, I would show you guys how to make sweater pumpkins. I did these last year on a live and I figured why not do them again? So hold on, I can't see the comments from way over there so I'm just gonna make sure um, I can see your comments from here. But as you come on, tell me if you're uh, decorating for fall yet or not. It's 90 degrees here with 1000% humidity. So it's not really um, fall decorating weather, but as a blogger, you need to go ahead of the curve to inspire you guys. So come on, tell me where you're from and we will get started. So the sweater, and I didn't even bring one down. I didn't bring my sweater pumpkin down to show you, but it's a pumpkin made out of sweaters. And um, I did these last year, like I said, on a live, and I had a few people asking me to do them again, so here we are. So I save all my sweaters that I like, like the texture and the color. Um, this sweater is actually from college, and I've cut it up. I use the body of it actually to make a bag, and these are the sleeves, and I've been wanting to do something with these sleeves forever. What I was thinking of putting these over um, glass votives and using them as like a cozy winter candle, but I'm gonna make them into pumpkins instead because I've been saying that for like five years and I haven't done it yet, so. Um, hi, Kenna, hi, Ellen. So the first thing you wanna do is just get an old sweater. You can go to the thrift store, you could just save them as you get them. This one was actually my mom. She's like, do you want this for something? And I said, sure. So you just take it and cut it into a circle. Um, this really isn't like quite the best circle, but it was an odd shaped piece around the shoulder. So, but that's fine. Cause it's all gonna get covered up anyway. And you're just gonna take a needle and a thread. And since it's a sweater, you're probably gonna you might want a large needle and um, probably like a bigger type string, which I did not do. So we'll hope this stays in. I think I did thread last year and it was fine, but I guess we'll see. We just don't want it slipping through the pumpkin, the sweater. You kind of just gauge how much you think you'll need and tie the end. Anybody else in the east with this ridiculous heat? Or anybody in the Gulf Coast? Hoping you guys are okay. I actually haven't been on the news yet to see if the hurricane actually made landfall. Okay, so this should work. Got like an arm's length of thread. You're just gonna take your circle, uh, the sweater, and basically you're just gonna do hand stitch in and out, in and out around the edge of the circle. And you're not gonna pull it tight or anything yet. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do first, because I don't know if this thread's just gonna go through it, is I'm gonna just make a knot with my thread first. So you might wanna do that too like around the sweater fabric, so it doesn't pull that through. No, I can't get that. Okay, so there. And you're just gonna go in and out and do like inch wide stitches, I guess. I'm not a sewer. I can sew, but I'm not a sewer. I can sew a pillowcase or something like that, but I used to be able to, and then I lost it. So just go in and out, in and out. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate the shares. I can't see who shared it anymore. I used to be able to, but Facebook doesn't tell me who shares it, just that you shared. So just go all the way around. And 
I've got this school has started for your kiddos as well. My son goes back to preschool on Thursday. Hopefully this will be enough thread, but it should be. In and out, in and out. So I would go longer than you think on the thread because this might not go all the way around. So I'm gonna go you're just going right around the edges. This is actually my ear. Just an inch in and out, in and out. These really are so simple. And you don't have to do these with just sweaters. You can do these with um, any type of fabric. I believe I did some with some ticking stripe fabric. Oh, this is like just enough thread. Oh, perfect. Okay. So once you get that all around, what you're going to do is you're just going to Pull this up, like kind of make a circle with your hand, and you're just going to pull the thread around and around until you make like a little pocket like this, and then you're just going to stuff it. Some people stuff it with um, like some beans or some, or rocks or sand, well not sand, on the bottom just to kind of give it like that plop. Um, I've never done that and then here I have an old pillow <laughs> that I just destroyed and I just take the stuffing out of that and I just stuff it in there sorry you can't hear me that's weird hmm. one of these days I'll get a mic but let's see so depending on how fluffy you want it, how big you want it. So and just stuff it all in and then you can pull it tight. And then what I do is just take all this extra thread that you have from pulling it tight Then I just kind of go through just to close it up a little bit more. Sometimes you don't need to do this step, but I stuffed it a lot, so it's kind of trying to pull open. So I'm just going to close up this top. And it's going to get covered up, so it doesn't need to look, doesn't need to be perfect. So just keep, and I'm just gonna do this a couple more times and I'll show you how I finish them. And I love this gray and I love that the sweat, they're sweater pumpkins because it just feels like warm, cozy fall weather. There. Okay, so now I'm just gonna knot it Close it off. Okay. So here we have the base of the pumpkin. Already looks pretty good and you can just kind of shape it. If you have some bulges. And then what I do is I'm a driftwood collector so I have a bunch of driftwood and I just broke a little piece off, like a two inch piece off the driftwood. Um, you can use a stick, you can use, I've seen corks, um, I've seen like do the twisty with the twine, uh, you can do that, and you just hop 
glue it right in the middle. Let me see if I can find a little better spot. Um, with my other pumpkins, you could put a little bit of Spanish moss on first to, for like leaves or something like that. And, or I just take some leaves and not this whole thing. Um, but whenever I'm doing like a wreath or a floral arrangement and I cut off some leaves, I save the leaves just for like things like this. So I'll use, I probably won't even use, let's see, that might be too much. That's too much. So I'm just gonna cut off one of these leaves and I'll just use two and just hot glue that as well. And just get it in there. And a little bit more and there you go a little sweater pumpkin <laughs> I might do something else with this leaf I'm not loving this leaf but there you go um, what these look I love these on like in a little bowl or a basket like on this, your coffee table or a side table. So, see how easy that was? And you can make big ones, you can make little ones. Um, so maybe I will make a white one. Here, I'll put this out. This is kind of big. I think the stick's a little bit too small for it, but it's cute. So maybe I'll make a little one while you guys are here. Or for people who just joined in, I'm just gonna open up the sleeve. You can stack them. Some people I've seen, I've not done it, they put twine like up the sides of it and tie it so it looks like like the lines of a pumpkin pumpkin to give it a little bit more um, definition. So I'm just gonna make a mini one. And I should have got my rotary cutters out. I don't know why I use these. So just a quick circle. And once I place them tomorrow, I'll put a picture of them done in the comments of this video. And I'm just gonna do, I'll just, it's gonna be like a little mini pumpkin. So that would be also really pretty if you just did a bunch of mini pumpkins in a bowl or basket, the mini sweater pumpkins. Okay. So this is a little bit smaller. I'm gonna see if I can get away with just using this thread again, this leftover thread. because it's a sweater I'm going to just knot it from the beginning onto the sweater. Hi Rhonda. Okay. And in and out like inch apart. Doesn't need to be perfect and you don't even need to be a sewer. It's so easy. Oh, I bet your fall is beautiful in New Hampshire. We have actually a really pretty fall here as well in the Hudson Valley of New York. We get a lot of tourists. So if you don't have enough thread, you could just kind of start doing it and then just pull as you go. And then you'll just add more thread to your So 
So just pull as you go if you just need the thread. Here's my little pocket, because I just pulled it tight. That's all you're doing, just going around, pulling it tight. Use a little stuffing. Pull tight. I'm gonna use a little touch more stuffing. And then I'm just gonna close this up by just shoving the needle through, sewing it closed. Not perfect, just wanna get it closed so it stays. I'm just gonna knot this off and this one will be add the stuff and we'll be done with that. Oh, I just found an end. Okay. So here's a little mini one and we'll throw on, just break off another piece of this Drift one. I'm gonna put this little small little leaf on first actually. Then glue the stick on. Get glue strings everywhere. string and there you go little sweater pumpkin for a wreath for my apartment door um, if you go to my videos on this page I made a fall wreath already um, I don't know like a month ago a couple weeks ago um, that's been a hanging on my door it's just a simple floral wreath really easy with a grapevine base um, I also have the easiest burlap wreath ever. If you go to some, like if you scroll down my page some, I think I just shared it again like this weekend. Um, you can, if you Googled it too, you'd find my tutorial. So there you go. So now you just throw these in a basket, throw them in, or just on a shelf or something, and you have some cute little sweater pumpkins. Maybe add some florals to them to a basket and Hi Denise, thank you, and there you go. So mix and match colors, you could do white with gray, so, but that's it, and I hope that helped, and I'm so glad you joined me, and I'll be doing a couple more lives probably this week too. You're welcome, Diane, and I hope you have a great night. See you later. Oops, sorry, finished.